second graders. Happy Wednesday. Yes. Middle of the week already. Yes. Man. We're back with our reading video today and we're talking about the story Grace for President. It's in your big blue book on page 388. If you haven't already read it, please make sure that you pause this video, go read your book, and then you can come on back and you can fill out this chart along with us. So, such a cute story. Loved I loved it. Super timely. <laughs> uh -huh. We just had an election. Yeah. Very cool. So I love how Grace, the first thing that she notices when she looks up at all the presidents at the beginning of the story is that they're all men. Yep. And she's like, hey, what's up? There's no girl presidents. Mm -hmm. yep. So I just love that. Um, I think it's super cute. We have two main characters in our story today. We, of course, have Grace, but we also have Thomas. Throughout the story, both of them are running to be class president. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I'm not going to give away the ending just in case you didn't read it yet, but only one of them is able to win. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we are going to talk about how they felt throughout the story. We're going to find some clues in the text and then we are going to figure out what their point of view is, how they're feeling kind of on the inside about this election in their classroom. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and start with Grace. Yes. Okay, who I just love in this story, by the way, my favorite character. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I remember about Grace is that she thinks that becoming president is going to be super easy. Mm -hmm. She's like, I've got this. It's not going to be very hard at all in order to do this. And this is, of course, before she realizes how all the votes are counted, um, how, you know, maybe someone else wants to run for president as well. Yeah. So at the beginning, she's thinking it will be easy to win the election. All right, so you guys make sure you copy down what Miss Mark Bart's writing. And I didn't use quotes today. I did not use quotation marks. This is not something that Grace actually said, and they are not exact words that I'm taking from the text. These are my own words that I kind of summarized what I remember from the story. So a clue though is that she's thinking it will be easy to win the election. Yeah. So let's turn that into her point of view. What does that mean about her? What are the feelings that she kind of has inside? If you think that you're going to be able to win pretty easily, you're probably not really like shy or timid or embarrassed, mm -hmm. right? You feel this level of confidence, like you can do it. So Grace at this point in the story has a lot of confidence about becoming the president. So I'm going to write, um, she has confidence. I love that word. That is a good second grade word. It is. She has confidence. She will win. All right. Now, I love this chart because the kids are going to notice something pretty soon. Do you want to talk about Thomas? Sure. So, <clears throat> Grace and Thomas are interesting characters because <laughs> they kind of think along similar uh -huh. trains of thought. So, Thomas is thinking, you know, and again, I'm summarizing, this isn't exactly what it said in the story, but I remember him like calculating all the votes, calculating, you know, adding up all the votes he's going to get from the boys. Cause he's thinking every single boy is going to vote for me because I'm a boy and that's just what we do. Right? <laughs> so that's his thought process. Okay. So he calculates, which is a big fancy word for adds up all of the votes he will get from the boys. Why? He thinks all the boys, boys will mm -hmm. vote for him. So he calculates the votes he will get from the boys. Have all of the boys voted? Did all of the boys vote for him at that point? No, but he's very confident huh, that they will. He thinks that they will. Interesting, and we heard that word already. Yes. Huh. So they're both feeling a level of confidence that they are mm. gonna win, right? So what does this action, before they even vote, he just adds up all the boys that are in his class that he thinks are gonna vote for him, and he's like, well, that, those are my votes. I'm gonna get them because I'm a boy and they're boys. And he thinks that that's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So what does that say about him? What is his point of view? Does he think that he's gonna lose? Does he think that he's gonna win? Yeah, you figure that out and you put that here in this blank box, all right? 
All right, good job.